So we're starting to complicate things a little bit more. I've added in a second class. I'm implementing uh, an event handler. And well, I'm, I'm kind of disjointed all over the place. I'm making new button handlers on the fly. Well, one of the things I can do is I can actually sort of reduce the amount of uh, work I'm doing here. Again, if we think about this button handler, the reason why I'm doing new button handler inside of set action is because you know, I only care about uh, my BTN OK happening. I don't want uh, you know my BTN cancel doing the exact same thing. And for our sake, let's say I do that. I, I bring in another button. I bring in a cancel button that says cancel and I'm going to need to uh, implement this into a pane so new pane oh, why not I'll just make it an H box that'll make things a little uh, smoother on our round so a horizontal box H box boom and I'll go ahead and implement that so import and let's see I'll just I know I'm so bad habits just People are probably screaming at me to, no, you shouldn't be importing the stars. So again, now I got to uh, come in here and uh, pain.getchildren.add all btn ok, btn cancel. So again, I've only just added in a second button. Now it's not going to uh, span my entire window. But again, I've got my OK button, and it still has the OK button on it. My cancel does not. And again, that's because I don't want cancel to have any interaction with uh, my OK. So one of the things I can do is instead of doing this new button handler and then having button handler down here, is I can actually create what is known as an anonymous inner class. This anonymous inner class, what I'm actually doing is I'm reducing the amount of uh, disjointedness, the uh, amount of typing I have to do all over the place. Now to do this, what's actually going to happen is basically all of this stuff right here that I've highlighted out, I'm actually going to cut that out. I'm going to, by cut, I mean control X. And I'm going to get rid of those three lines right there. Now, again, when I've cut that, it's stored in my clipboard right now. I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to get rid of button handler. Now, what was button handler? If we take a look at all that again, button handler was me just saying, oh, well, button handler implements this abstract class that I then build right there on the fly. I, I override the handle method, I threw in a count, all that stuff. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to say, well, if that's the case, let me just kind of get rid of this. And let me just build it on the fly. And so now all of a sudden, I come in here and I'm going to build this event handler. Now one thing I do have to do is I do have to tack on those guys. I do have to tack that on because remember when I do a new, I'm basically saying invoke this constructor. Well, guess what? Event handler has a constructor as well, even if it's an interface. And so I'm coming in saying event uh, implement the empty uh, no arg constructor in which I then also make a new variable called count that exists inside of this temporary on the fly uh, class that I've just built and also override the handle method. Now again, this guy down here, don't need him anymore. Notice nothing's erroring out, nothing's freaking out over here. And when I run this, just to clean this up a little bit, I get the exact same effect. I hit OK. So what I've done is I've removed, uh, reduced the amount of typing I can do. And what this is nice for is I can then come in here and maybe copy, paste it, and do the exact same thing with cancel. Because again, if we think about it, what are these classes, these buttons doing? Well, I want to reduce the amount of work I have to do all over the place. Uh, again, I don't want to have to make a, a BTN OK handler a BTN cancel handler, especially when that's all it's doing is it's just implementing this one uh, method and it's just keeping track of what they are doing. So now once I've 
done these anonymous inner classes, I can hit OK, and I still get the OK button, hit one, two, three, four, five times, and then I can come over here to this cancel button, and guess what? Because we just implemented the same thing, set on action, new event handler action event, cancel button was pressed once, twice, three times.